Understanding Pneumatic Systems, a guide for English language learners. Hello everyone, today, we're going to explore an exciting and practical topic in engineering, pneumatic systems. If you've ever wondered how certain machines operate smoothly and efficiently, this video is for you. We'll break down what pneumatic systems are, how they work, and where you might encounter them in everyday life. Let's dive in. Pneumatic systems are a type of technology that use compressed air to power machines and tools. The word pneumatic comes from the Greek word pneumatikos, meaning related to air or wind. These systems are popular because they are safe, clean, and efficient. They're used in various industries, from automotive manufacturing to dentistry. At the heart of every pneumatic system is the compressor, which takes in air from the atmosphere and compresses it. This compressed air is then stored in a tank and released through valves to power various tools and machinery. The beauty of these systems lies in their simplicity and the ease of controlling the air flow and pressure. Pneumatic systems are everywhere. They're used in robotics, transportation, and even in everyday items like bicycle pumps. In industrial settings, they power conveyor belts, jackhammers, and paint sprayers. In the medical field, dentists use pneumatic tools for drilling and cleaning teeth. Understanding these applications helps us appreciate the wide-ranging impact of pneumatic technology. Pneumatic systems offer several advantages. One, safety. They are less prone to fire hazards since they use air. Two, reliability. Fewer moving parts mean less wear and tear. Three, cost-effective. Air is a free and abundant resource. Four, flexibility. Easy to install and modify. I hope this video has shed light on the fascinating world of pneumatic systems and their importance in our daily lives. From powering complex machinery to simple tools, pneumatic systems play a vital role in various industries. Thanks for watching, and stay curious about the world of engineering.